Hello, welcome back to another set of math videos for this week. We are going to be focusing on fractions and uh, more particularly adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing fractions. Our first lesson uh, for the week is adding fractions. Today we're going to take a look at some examples with like denominators and unlike denominators. And our first example has like denominators. As you see, both of the denominators are five. So that makes it pretty simple. That means all we have to do is just simply come down here write our five as our denominator. And then we will add our numerators, three plus one, and that is four. And that is our answer four fifths. There is no need to simplify in this scenario because four and five are beside each other numerically, four and then five. And so that's always a clue that you do not have to simplify that. So that is our final answer. Let's move over to our next example. This one has some mixed numbers, but that doesn't really change anything because when we look at our denominators, we notice that they are the same. So all we simply have to do is add our whole numbers up and I'm going to make that a little smaller, move that up. So our whole numbers, three plus one is four. Our denominator is eight. Now we're gonna add our numerators. One plus seven is eight. Now, hopefully a lot of you noticed that, wait a second, eight and eight, that is one whole. So we're going to take our four as our whole number already and then have to add the eight over eight one whole to get a final answer of five. Five is our final answer in this scenario, once again, because the eight over eight is one whole. So you will take your four and add it to the one whole to get five. So those are two examples um, that if you would like to copy them down, you can always pause this video, write those down if, if you would like. But we're going to now move, move ahead on to the next examples where we start to see unlike denominators. All right, so the first example here with unlike denominators, once again, we're writing these vertically up and down. We're going to take a look here and see how we go about solving these. So you see I'm writing some equal signs because we are going to now work over toward the right and come up with equivalent fractions. So to come up with an equivalent fraction, you need to come up with a common denominator, and preferably a least common denominator. Um, and I always taught my students a, a phrase, your LCM is your LCD. Your least common multiple is your least common denominator. So in this scenario, I did my grid method on my scrap paper and found that my least common denominator, my least common multiple was 42. And so I'm going to write that in over here. Now, what I always ask myself is, how did I go from the seven to the 42? And you can answer that by saying multiply by six. You're always going to either multiply or divide when it comes to equivalent fractions. So we multiplied by six. So what we did to the bottom, we're gonna do it to the top now. So I'm going to multiply the four times the six, and I'm going to get an answer of 24. Now on the bottom uh, fraction, how did I go from 6 to 42? Well, let's think about what you did on top. To go from 7 to 42, you multiplied by 6. Think about your commutative property of multiplication. 7 times 6 is 42, so what do you think 6 times 7 would equal? You're right, 42. So 6 times 7 equals 42. What I did to the bottom, I'm going to do to the top. 5 times 7 is 35. Give you a minute to see how we got that. All right, now when we come down here to add these up, the denominators now are the same, which is 42. And our numerator is going to be 59. I would add those up correctly. 4 plus 5 is 9. 2 plus 3 is 5. Now, that is an improper fraction. You cannot have an improper fraction as your final answer. Um, almost every math teacher you'll ever have will make you simplify. But once again, we're trying to do these without a calculator. So how would I simplify that without a calculator? Well, let me show you here. So remember, a fraction line simply means to divide. So I'm going to take 59 and I'm going to divide it by 42. So 42 times what gets you close to 59 without going over? That would be one. So now 42 times one is 42. And I'm going to subtract. This is bringing back that skill from last week with the uh, long division. 
So now 9 minus 2 is 7. 5 minus 4 is 1. So I always like to circle these important numbers. The, number, the quotient, the divisor, and the remainder are very important because our final answer is now going to be 1 and 17, 40 seconds. Now, you may be wondering, well, how do you know that that is um, your final answer? Well, when you look and see 1 and 17, 40 seconds, 17 is a prime number. Okay, um, and so nothing, you cannot take 17 and break that down uh, with anything. So it does not break down uh, with the 42 either. So your final answer is 1 and 17, 40 seconds. Once again, I'll give you a second there to copy that down. And again, if you'd like to especially pay attention to my division part there. The numerator divided by the denominator, 59 divided by 42, got us a whole number of one, and that's where the one in our answer comes from. The remainder was 17, that's where the numerator came from. And then the divisor is 42. All right, so we're going to erase that work in the middle so that we have enough room for the other work with the other problem. And once again, the nice thing about these videos is if you would like to pause it and go back to it, by all means, you are certainly able to do so. So let's move this over now. Now we have one half plus two thirds. Okay. Once again, I like to draw my equal sign and my fraction uh, next to it. So once again, thinking in that mentality that your LCM is your LCD, this, these are pretty low numbers, so you should probably be able to figure out that your least common denominator is 6. So once again, how did I go from 2 to 6? I simply multiplied by 3. What I did to the bottom, I'm going to come up here and do it to the top. So 1 times 3 is 3. On our bottom fraction, how did I go from 3 to 6? Well, I multiplied it by 2. Once again, think about what you did up on our top fraction. Think about your commutative property of multiplication. So what I did to the bottom, 3 times 2 is 6. That means I do it to the top. 2 times 2 is 4. Now, once again, some of you may already be thinking, wait a second, this is going to be an improper fraction. You're correct, 7 sixths. So think about what we did on the last problem. We're going to take 7, and we're going to divide it by 6. 6 times what gets you close to 7 without going over? That's pretty easy. 1. 1 times 6 is 6. Now we're going to subtract it and get 1 as our remainder. Once again, these three numbers that I'm circling are very important when it comes to um, simplifying your improper fractions. So our whole number, our quotient, is 1 on the top. Our numerator comes from our remainder, which is also one. And our divisor is our um, denominator, one and one sixth. Now that, this is our final answer. And the reason I know that this is our final simplified answer is because one is already as low as it will go. So the numerator is one. I know I cannot simplify it. One and one sixth is our final answer. So once again, let me zoom back out here and let you see both of these examples before we move on to a few more difficult ones. All right, so now as we take a look here, we have two examples with mixed numbers that are unlike denominators. So let me zoom in a little bit here on this first example. All right, so what, again, I notice is that these are unlike denominators, which means I'm going to have to work to the right to come up with a common denominator that we can then add. So the whole numbers are going to just simply come over with them. No, this is where we, again, look at creating a least common denominator. Your LCM is your LCD. So your LCM of four, of um, sorry, six and 18 is 18. All right, so how did I go from six to 18? Well, I simply multiplied by three. 
So what I did to the bottom, I'm going to come up here and do it to the top. One times three is three. Down on the bottom, how did I go from 18 to 18? Well, that's pretty simple. I'm just going to multiply it by one, which means on the numerator, I'm going to multiply it by one. One times one is one. Now let's add up our whole numbers. Two plus seven is nine. And you notice I keep things pretty well lined up. 18 and 18 is our common denominator, which means that's just going to come down as 18. And now three plus one is four. Now, hopefully, a lot of you recognize that 4 and 18 are both even numbers, which means that we can simplify that. So when we think about simplifying it being even numbers, you could divide them by 2, because 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 18 divided by 2 is 9. Now, 9 and 2 have nothing in common, which means they are simplified. Okay, let's move over here to our next and final example. We have four and one fourth plus six and five fourteenths. Once again, I'm going to write these over here. Four comes over, six comes over. All right, now we have to think, hmm, what is the LCM of four and 14? Four and 14, the LCM. Well, if you're doing your grid method on your scrap paper, you know that the LCM of four and 14 is 28. So how did I go from four to 28? Well, if you know your multiplication facts, you know that you are multiplying it by seven. So one times seven is seven. 14 times what gets you 28? 14 times 2. Multiply that on top. 5 times 2 is 10. All right, so add up our whole numbers and you get 10. 6 plus 4. Your denominator is 28. Now you're going to add 7 plus 10, and that is 17. And once again, since 17 is a prime number, it has no numbers that um, break it down. So 17 and 28, they are um, simplified already, and that is your final answer. So once again, let's zoom back out in case you need to see both of these examples. And again, you can always pause this video. You can go back and take a look at our other examples as well. But I hope that you found this video very helpful as you go in to complete the activity board problems today. All right, thank you very much. And tomorrow we'll be back with a sub subtraction of fraction video. Have a great day. Stay safe.